Hi guys in another video by mtech pro. You know leak season has begun when you just can't keep up with the torrent of leaks coming out in the last week. We've learned what the iPhone 12 Pro chassis would look like in this video. We now have an accurate depiction of the notch how big it'll be the orientation of the sensors inside and the bezel on the screen. Let's just say things are looking good and will look even better in matte black. So let's start with John Prosser's exclusive. Look at the notch on today's front page tech episode. John Prosser has given us an exclusive look at the front of the iPhone 12 with these leaked schematics. They look legit. In fact, even the way that call out. The information is displayed looks very Apple-like high-tech. We now have an accurate depiction of the notch, the sensor layout inside and the bezels. It looks amazing in concept we were eager on the bezels. So those will not be quiet but still super sleek. We were about 0.3 milliliters off here. So Apple will be shrinking the bezels by about 52.67 first appearance. It looks a little underwhelming not quite what you'd expect after 3 years of development. In fact, none of these sensors seemingly even have shrunk, and she quote earlier predicted that Apple would be shrinking the camera unit in order to make Face ID more compact, but seemingly all they've done here is move the earpiece upwards and combine it with the microphone still. It is an improvement. It's smaller more compact, but it's not any shorter. It's just a stall just not as why I had a question earlier today. Isn't this something Apple could have done within the last 3 years, or even since the beginning with the iPhone 10 technically true? You'll learn that Face ID is improving in more ways than just size. And it's possible that some of the components have been improved in ways that you can explain by looking at the physical sensors. Launching later in October thanks to delays. He says the design still has not been finalized. So we still may see some changes in future has his Prosser earlier warned today. Grooming also confirms B6.7 inch will have a larger display than the current 11 Pro Max that Apple is working on a version without a notch altogether in this year's lineup, is likely to support that smaller notch which today has been revealed by Prosser, also mentions that the Apple of 14 will be more dedicated towards artificial intelligence and augmented reality tasks, that there will be a portion of the Apple at 14 specifically dedicated to these tests, and German mentions. The iPhone 12 is currently being designed engineers' homes, as are not able to congregate or travel to China to finish prototyping. He also emphasizes that plans may yet change due to the nature of the outbreak. In other news, Barclays believes Apple be launching the 5G iPhone into Waves 1 in 2020, with sub-6GHz capable of 5G, then in 2021. And Prosser says the smart connector as seen in these calves will not be happening on this year's iPhone is rumored to not have a port coincidentally these things would be released at the same time because it would solve the problem for wireless iphone sounds in 2021 how are you going to charge it while holding it so we're not getting wireless charging over the air or anything ridiculous like that because the batteries are not getting good enough thanks for watching everybody don't forget like and subscribe share if you liked <laughs>